to the video where I explained my Van de Graaff generator. What I did, I took this section of pipe, which I drilled holes through and through on the top. And I'll show you here, through and through, and the bottom. Goes through here, goes through here. And then after I drilled holes perpendicular to them, one for the top and one one for the bottom roller. And then after that, for the top roller, I fitted wooden stick through, which what I wrapped around it is a piece of aluminum tape, which would create the top roller. And for the bottom roller, I, I then again, I took another wooden stick, and I wrapped it around this time with electrical tape. And the rubber band that kind of connects through and it's going to bring the charges from one roller to another is a, a rubber band which is made out of a exercise band which I cut to the appropriate size and super glued the ends together to make a band and then now for the top roller for not for the top roller for the for the can that's on the top of the assembly it's a normal aluminum can of a soft drink which I uh, drank and then after emptied it and dried the inside, make sure it was nice and dry. And after I, with a can opener, I cut the top off. And after that, I took some 12 gauge stranded copper wire, which I, on one end, I, uh, I stripped about two inches and then proceeded to tape it on the inside with some electrical tape. And then on the other end, I stranded about a uh, half inch, which I would then after proceed to pass it through the hole that I that I drilled earlier and I would put it perpendicularly and then once it's through and on the, on the inside I would spread out the, the wire make sure it is as close as possible to to the rubber band but not touching it and then once, I would, once that was in place I would tape it to make sure it stays there and then after that I would take the top can and tape the can there to make sure it doesn't move anymore and then for the bottom wire, the bottom hole I would take another piece of strand shorter I would make sure I'd fit it through and make sure the strands again, again that the strands are close to the, the rubber band but not touching it and this is for the machine to be grounded the reason the can has uh, napkin cut a short pieces of cut napkin is to see once the generator is uh, on to see the if it's getting charged or not if your one is charging you're gonna see the strands are gonna start lifting up and kind of staying in place once the assembly is all done what I used for a motor is a handheld uh, drill device which is this which I would which fit perfectly on the end of my wooden stick which would place like this and turn on and the, the, the fun part about this is that this machine is uh, regulated and I could change the speed from from a level 6 to a level 1 which one is the slowest and 6 is the fastest and that is all